Good afternoon folks. It's actually 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm just waiting for a friend. Because uh, he phoned me earlier, wanted to know if I was busy, and I'm like, nope. Bored out of my mind. Uh, we're going to get the rest of my bits from his old flat, so I've got a bit of a clean up down here. I might just run the vac over there. Both my uh, GTEx need a charge. I can't find either bloody charger now. Um, so yeah, I've just put the um, cabinet that was here out on the landing for now. I'll deal with that another day. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. Uh, I've just got to run an errand for Mum, but I can do that on the way down to my friends. That's not a problem. Uh, Well, it's daylight. Hang on. There's the two mountain bikes I got to do up. Well, I'm going to get a chance today, but I've got the gear cables because I know at least both will need a rear gear cable, and I don't have any long enough in my spares box. This I completed last night, and it does fully function. Um, I had to substitute some parts just for colours though because I didn't have the correct colour. There's two, this black bit in here is meant to be dark grey like this one. Excuse me. Right, where were we? There we are. Yeah, these are meant to be dark grey and there's a yellow piece here but a grey piece the other side. I didn't have another yellow one. I don't know, I could have just stuck a grey piece in there actually and just made a pair up like I did with the black. But uh, yeah, it fully works. It's definitely worth £20 just for this. <laughs> da, 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 da. All you got to do, you got one switch here. This does the bucket tilt. So in theory, when I pump on the pumps, there goes that. Now yesterday this wasn't tilting backwards, it tilt forwards like that but it wouldn't tilt backwards but today it's actually working. <laughs> the one on the other side controls the lift. I've just lowered it. Oh, my thingy just fell off. There we go. Up we go. <laughs> and of course we've got all the controls on the back to control the rear arm. This one up here does the outriggers. Just put these in to the neutral position, otherwise you'll have movement there. So dead centre is like the neutral position, it closes both valves off. Uh, so yeah, that's outriggers, so if I think that's the right way, yeah, there we go. That's the outriggers down. Again, put that back into neutral. And I keep forgetting which one around these go. I can't believe the pneumatics work first time. I was half expecting them not to. Yeah, that has me outriggers down. What does that one do again? No, I've got it the wrong way around. Aha. It does this bit. <clears throat> So if I uh, flip that back, we should. We're not getting anything for some reason. It's not... That got stuck, I think. And it's dropping. Look at that. <laughs> Might have a bit of an air leak in the hose somewhere. No, it's brought it back up. Might be a bit of an air leak somewhere. So that does that. We'll put that one into neutral. Can't remember what the next one does. The next ah, that's the slew. That slews your arm left and right like that. There we go. We. Uh, can't remember. Is this one tilt? Yeah, that raises the arm up. Oh, I've noticed the um, pneumatics drop like hydraulics over time. So this one must be the bucket curl. And I've got that round the wrong way, haven't I? 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Same principle as uh, hydraulics, just with pneumatics. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, some interesting. These, this was a um, hundred pounds, brand new, back in two thousand and three. Uh, and being a retired set, you'd probably have to pay in that region now to get this as a complete set. I actually, oh, I didn't realise it. I lifted the wheels up. Well, I got it with the box as well, so I'm pretty chuffed. I don't care that the other sets weren't complete, they've just gone into my Technic tub under there as um, spare parts. Or well, most of them have. The box for this has got all the little fiddly parts in. Oop. I left the saloon one open. <laughs> it's what happens if you leave one open, you get unwanted movement. <laughs> Wrong way. I've got to get used to the controls. Raise it up. Just bringing the um. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> Just uh. Oops, wrong lever. That was bucket car, wasn't it? Right, yeah, so. All my levers back in the neutral position. Bring the outriggers up, and you're good to go. Is that technical bit? Just extends the levers. That's all these do, so it's a bit easier to use them. But they don't seem to grip very well because I keep flicking them off. Well, it's either that or I haven't put them on properly. I'm not sure which. At the moment, I'm just killing a bit of time. One message. All right. That's just my brother. That was mum on the phone as well. <laughs> All right. So I've got to do a nice little uh, review on this. It's actually quite a nice design. Um, I know they did one. I can't remember if it was in the 80s or the 90s they did a did one of these. And I think it, think it used less pneumatic rams. I know it had um, only one air pump. This has actually got two. And the engine all works, see. It's being driven by the back wheels. Quite clever. It's um, it's got ages 11 to 99 on the box. I don't know why they didn't just put 11 plus. That would have been a lot easier. But uh, anyway, it's a fiddly build, a very very fiddly build. But uh, it's also educational because it can teach kids how. Pneumatics and hydraulics work because it's the same principle. It's just one uses air, one uses oil. You know, air is pumped into this hose to tilt, or both of these, I should say. And then obviously to retract or to tilt backwards, it's pumped into these ones. And that's what these switches do, the switches between them. See? Simple. But of course, on a real digger, you wouldn't have four separate levers. Not on a modern one, anyway. Might have done years ago with the first sort of uh, versions of real life diggers and whatnot. But uh, usually, the backhoe is operated just with two levers, the main function, anyway. These would probably be um, a foot pedal on the floor. But you'll have like one lever here, which you know, it can rock in four different directions, and another one there that rocks in four different directions. <laughs> but if I remember rightly, a lot of the old, really old ones had the four levers. So, 
it's very well constructed, it's not going to fall to pieces. So, uh, yeah, my very first Technic set since I was a kid. <laughs> I haven't bought Technic since. Um, I had a couple when I was a kid, a couple of small ones, but uh, never anything like this. My cousin had the original backhoe loader that they did back in the day, um, which I wouldn't mind getting just to have them both side by side. I wouldn't mind investing in some more sets like this because it was fun. It may have taken me, uh, what, what did I say, six hours over the course of two evenings, but it was worth it. It was fun. A little bit frustrating, frustrating rather, because it was uh, fiddly. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, I suppose I better go down and put the hitch on the bike ready because I got to tow a trailer. Uh, I'm actually tempted if I've got room up here later to bring one of those bikes up and uh, answer the poxy phone again. I bet that's my friend. I'm back in a minute. Oh, there we go. Two disturbances already. Right, that was my friend, so I'm going to have to uh, skedaddle. Go take a piss, grab a coat. I'm going to run down to uh, Bernardo's again. Second time lucky. Mum put £5 into my account this morning for me to go and pick up some bed linen for out of Bernardo's, and uh, Netflix went and nicked it. Bastards. I haven't watched Netflix in ages. I'm sort of, I don't know, I just got bored with it. So I may have to uh, temporarily cancel my account. Or put it on hold, one or the other. Uh, if I can do that. Because <laughs> I don't want to do away with Netflix completely. Just in case I do decide I want to watch something. But yeah, so I've got to do that, so I've got... I'm actually going to check my bank first, again. That pissed me off, <laughs> Netflix doing that. I wish I'd give a warning when they're going to do it. And not just do it at random like that. It doesn't bother me because it's only £6, but it was just the hassle, you know, of going down to the shop and putting your card in and having your card declined and you're standing there like a prat thinking, what the hell, there was money in there earlier. <laughs> so, just before I go, I'm just going to double check my bank account. And obviously I'm not going to point the camera at the screen while I log into my account. I'm daft, not stupid. <laughs> Bath tonight, I think. And change of clothes tomorrow. Continue. Should be the right code. I hope. Yay! Yay! I got seven pounds ninety-one available. Ew. And if I go to the right ATM, I can actually draw five pounds out. I'll do that. Oh fuck! I've got to dig the bike out of the shed yet. That's going to be fun. Oh joy! Well, he's got to empty a few things off hit one of his trailers anyway. I was going to meet him at his, or well, I thought I was. But both the trailers that we need are at his girlfriend's. Wait, that is technically his house now, so... Yeah, his old place I was going to meet him at. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do that and I'll be back later on. Well, I'm home. It's getting dark. Uh, got all my bits back here now. There is nothing left at his old flat that I was gonna have it's all on the trailer downstairs apart from the new bed mattress which uh, is on the landing at the minute because uh, I'm having a rest <sighs> I've got to uh, can't rest for too long now because I've got to get the trailer back uh, so I think I'm just gonna have a pee 
empty the trailer and yes I've got my shirt off because I'm sweating like a pig uh, I'm just going to drag that mattress that's on the landing and just uh, stand it in here for now <sighs> then I can go and empty the rest I've got my shelf to go there I've just got to assemble it but I'll do that when I get back from dropping the trailer off uh, yeah <laughs> so at least I should have a better mattress to sleep on tonight uh, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do with that I may actually dump it I don't know it's getting on my nerves getting in the way I wonder where I could put it for the time being I'll put that on the landing as well I think just uh I'm going to pour myself a drink, I think. Just cool off a bit. If it weren't for the steep hill that I have to get up to get back here from his old place, I wouldn't be so knackered. <sighs> Running out of cola, but uh, yeah. I'll get some tomorrow. I was actually contemplating uh, going to the chip shop when I get back from dropping the trailer off. Got plenty there. Alright. So dump this drink down my neck Ooh. Oh, I am absolutely fucked <sighs> the downside is there's only one flight of sta stairs uh, at his old place I've got two of the buggers. Mind you, none of it is heavy, it's just big and awkward. <laughs> um, decided against the fridge in the end, I, I ain't got a use for it anymore. Ooh. Well, at least taking the trailer back is going to be the easy part because it'll be empty and it's mostly down hill <sighs> right well I'm gonna get on with with uh, catching my breath <laughs> I'll just drag that mattress in off the landing out of the way uh, I'll just make a bit of got to take a 6mm hexagon key down with me as well I think yeah because the toolbox isn't up here right I'm gonna do that and I'll uh, come back later right trailer's empty trailer's back at my friends I've just been having a rest up here in front of the PC I absolutely stink mix of sweat and I don't bloody know what else so uh, change of clothes in the morning definitely um, yeah definitely the wash but uh, I think I've got a bit of thrush probably not something you want to know but when you're diabetic you are more prone to that unfortunately and athletes for and other such fungal infections it's a pain in the fucking ass but uh, they won't give pill treatments for thrush to men, believe it or not. Us men can't get it. We have to make do with the creams. But I have got some caniston cream somewhere. I think it's in the bedroom. Anyway, I don't want to come through here yet, do I? Yeah, I do. Don't worry, I do know what I'm doing, I think. Right. Um, so there's the mattress that's got to go on the bed. 
the sleep shop. It's actually quite comfortable. Uh, there's part of the cabinet I want to put next to this, but I'm not going to have a lot of room to get in the door. Um, not unless I move a shelf. That's the only other option I've got. So I can actually move it all up as far as I can and perhaps uh, relocate the drawers. Which I don't really want to do because I've got nowhere to put them. The only other space I've got to put anything is down there. But then that will require moving all of that lot. Uh, including the catch tray as well. Which I don't really want to. Although I could just put the catch tray... If I had to put the chest of drawers there, I could put the catch tray in front of it, it's not a problem. I don't often go in those drawers anyway. But like I said, that would then mean that shelf is in the way. Because I think... Because the idea is... There's two shelves... And that cabinet. And they sort of hang on the front of this uh, unit. There's the two metal hooks for everything to hook onto. They just hook into two holes in the back here. But uh, I've got a funny feeling... Yeah, that's going to be too tall, isn't it? Look. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll get this assembled and I'll sit it in here and I'll have a think. I don't have any other walls I can put it on, though. That's the only wall. Um, but yeah, the idea is that bit leans on the wall and then the backs of the shelves and that cabinet also leans on the wall. You know, I've got doors on the front there. I've got up here, a couple of pins here that I've got to uh, match up with holes in the ends on this as well, or on the sides. Oh, pardon me. You know, there's one of the shelves. They're different widths as well, so you put the uh, widest one on first, and then that one. So I may, after I've had something to eat, actually assemble this, but it might mean I won't get out of the door very well. Anyway, we'll move into here. Got some decent pillows and the computer. It's here. I've just got to set the uh, system up. It looks like I only got one kettle lead with that, but when I can find him, he give me three more down there, so I've got a few more kettle leads. Got some stuff in bags here. I think it's just glasses in here, yeah. A couple of mugs, air freshener. Some more CDs. Nothing really interesting. Um, oh. This bedside cabinet I'm going to put up there I'm going to move, probably will only need to move two of those DVD racks, I'll move three initially so I've got the room. But I want to stand it up that corner somewhere, that, well that's the plan. Uh, or because it's bigger and got a bit more room on it I could get rid of that little one and put it there. That might be a better idea. As it's got more room, I shouldn't need the um, DVD and TV. DVD and V. The player under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so that chest of drawers might have to be moved. Well, actually, it's on wheels, so I could just sit it in front of that cupboard, you know, and then just pull. The chest of drawers out when I need to get to the cupboard. It's not heavy and it is on wheels, casters rather, so that shouldn't be an issue. I could do that if necessary. I can't do that with this one though because, uh, well, for obvious reasons. Uh, so I could move that shelf along and butt it up with that one. That's you know, it's not a problem. If I've got to, I can, and hopefully that means that top one will be in line with this end, and I'll have enough room to get in and out of the door. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think that's my best option. 
Right. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'll save assembling this till tomorrow then. Because I've got a mattress to go out tomorrow as well. And yeah. Lots of stuff to do and not enough... Oh, pardon me. Not enough hours to do it. Still got that shelf there and want to find a home for. Still got, completely forgot, I've got corner shelves I want to put up there. Or another shelf, I should say. Anyway, I'm going to get some more jobs done. Well, actually, I'm going to get a bite to eat because I haven't even had dinner yet. And it's just gone nine o'clock. So I'll do that and I'll be back later. Right. I don't even know what that word was. So it's meant to be right, but it came out as a W. Anyway. Got the PC in here. Now that bit's finally fell off. Go in the bin. There's a lot of a lot of fluff in here. Now, this has got Windows XP on the sticker there and a Windows XP COA there. But I know for a fact it's not running Windows XP. <laughs> oh. Just like the side panel isn't even screwed up. But I do want to get into here. Two memory sticks in. <coughs> For some reason I thought there was only one. We have two hard drive bays. That is bloody good. So I know exactly what I'm doing with this case. <laughs> I'm going to install XP on it and build a, a new um, XP machine. What do we got? I've got 512 there. And a 256. Solid. Why would you have 256 DR2? What the hell are you going to do with that? Right, anyway. Nope. Not that tray. Not that tray. Typically it's the bottom tray. <laughs> Idea what this one is, there ain't nothing on it. <laughs> Sod's law, isn't it? I could throw one of those in temporarily, but I don't want to do that either. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. I swear I'm missing something. Oh, it's here, that's why. What's that one? It's a two gig stick. It's a 512. It's supposed to be in that one. And what's that one? It's 512. That's meant to be in that one. That one's meant to be in there as well. Right. Any more that I can in here? Yes. <clears throat> it's another 512. In the wrong bloody tray. That's why I can't find them. Okay. Right. I've got a two gigabyte and a mystery one here, so I'll put the mystery one in as well. Maybe we can find out what it is. <clears throat> or maybe it'll throw a hissy fit at me and say, too much memory. Who knows? Right, hello. I've got spider webs in here, we've got quite a lot. I'll bring you over in a minute. What the hell? Three large screws, I don't want them. Right, hang on. Got the memory upgrade in. I've got to burn a CD using this, so um, yeah, I don't want a pissy amount of memory in it to do that. Right. Keyboard. Mouse. This is the keyboard and mouse that came with it.
Ooh. This has even got a Wi-Fi adapter plugged in the back. Ooh, we are getting swanky with this. Right. Plug in audio so I can actually make sure it all works and whatnot. Crank the volume down though, I don't want it all the way up. Oh yes, yeah, so those ones with a nice blue light on it. Alright. Power up the other two. The monitor also came with it, so before we turn it on, I'm gonna drag you over here. You have the hard drive. I don't know what size the hard drive is. But there's another bay for one there. So it's a small case which would be ideal for my Windows XP. And that can sit under the desk in the uh, bedroom. Green LED is on on the motherboard. That's a good thing. Everything looks connected. It's very dusty and mucky and cobwebby. And... But this has been stored in his outside cupboard for I don't know how long. Right, where's the power button? Ooh. Well, it's doing something. We're not going to get any video because I haven't plugged the bloody video cable in, you dicks. Dicks down. Here we go. Try plugging in the VGA. We might get a signal out to the monitor if we do. It'll also help to plug it in round the right way. Ooh. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> oh dear. That's throwing a right old hissy at me. Right. Um, I turned off. I'm going to drop one of the memory cards out of this because it might be, it could even be a monitor issue. It was all working absolutely fine. Let me try that. There we go. It's probably too much memory and it's throwing a hissy fit. Right. Bit from CD. Is there a CD in there? <laughs> you shitting me. Oh, there we go. Starting windows. Will we get any startup music? Ah, that's what that plastic bit, I threw the plastic bit of that speaker in the bin because I didn't realise what it was. I don't know what to do. Take the other bloody one off. <laughs> so I am not going into the bottom of a wheelie bin trying to get a bit of plastic back. This is probably the fastest this has have ever been because when he got this it had 512 megabytes of RAM. DDR2, but fuck me, was that slow. Make a snail look fast. What we got? I've got an IDE drive in here. Okay, so it's not a genuine version of Windows 7, which is naughty considering where this came from. Will it actually let me do anything? This came from Cash Factory, by the way, when they had their fire. Uh, hence why all that is a little bit warped. <laughs> there was a melted panel in there as well. The player is not properly installed on your computer. The player files are corrupted or modified and it cannot run. Go away. No connections are available. It's got AVG on it. The AVG is probably three or four years out of date now. 2013. <laughs> I was right. Early 2013, 14, 50 year. Bloody hell, nearly three years out of date. All this crap on here. I've got to uh, I'm just gonna lower this 
don't know what that folder is. It's not opening the folder. Why is it not opening the bloody folder? Oh, here we go. Uh, I have no idea. My friend just picked it up and put his pictures on here, so... Somewhere on here... Is his pictures. The only thing is... I don't know where. Place S-E-G-A. So there's a game on here of some description. Someone had an HTC phone connected to it. Or synced up with the PC or what the hell ever. Oh, it's titles. I thought that said titties. I was like, titties? What the hell? <laughs> Artwork. No. I wonder if this must... Oh, that's bare. That's, um... Has he got it in here? Yeah, I found them. It's alright. Casper. Bless his little soul. No longer with us. Wrong way picture of my niece. Right, so what the fuck all that is. I need to go through it, I'll do this off camera. With my buddy. My buddy, my stepsister, and my niece, when they were together. She's a bitch. Not my niece. Don't like her. Love her, but don't like her. Still got the blue cord. Jesus. <laughs> That's him playing with the uh, effects on his phone. Well, it might have been my sister, actually. Hell, there's a lot of pictures. I don't know what he wants, so I'm just going to... Uh, Don't know. I might need more than one memory stick. Yeah. All right. So I found that. I've got plenty of discs, so I don't care how many discs it take. <laughs> it's a good way of getting the CD drawer open, isn't it? Giving it a good thack. It keeps sticking. Yeah, as you can see, I bet if I actually um, cleaned all this up and fucking uninstalled a bunch of crap and whatnot, it'll be. Um, a decent PC. Mm. Uh, I can add them to this folder. But then I've got to burn them to disk. This is going to take a while. Oops. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll deal with that later. 
But uh, well, anyway, this is going to need reflashing because I put these windows is not down. I remember that last time we turned it on, it came up with that. But like I said, it came from a place that deals in home stuff like this. You know, PCs, laptops, TVs, games, consoles, DVDs, etc. So I don't know if it was one of theirs that they were using. Or if this is some, you know, one that a customer had bought in and sold them. But either way, you know, big oopsie. I suppose it don't matter too much with Windows 7 now, because there's no support for it. What we've got, we've got quick time play. Actually, that's what we can do. Uh, about the control panel. So it's actually working pretty fast. System, what we got? It must be a dodgy 2 gigabyte memory card because it's 1.87 gigabyte. 32 bit operating system. Intel Pentium R4 CPU at 3 gigahertz. I don't know if. I don't know if that's a single core or what it is. To activate. Right, what's installed your programs have we got on here? I might find the bloody. Can't find the devices and printers, no. It's programs and features. So we have uTorrent, Adobe Air. No, I, was actually, I was told it was actually pronounced Adobe, but for some reason I always call it Adobe. So we've got Adobe Flash Player 11, Adobe Reader 10.1.5, Advanced System Care. Akami Net Session Interface, AVG, Bing Bar, C Cleaner, DivX Setup, Duke Nukem 3D for Windows, Fantasty Games, GameTap Web Player, Google Chrome, Google Talk Plugin, Google Toolbar, HTC Driver Installer, HTC Sync Manager, IB update or whatever that is image burn IMG burn the scroll wheel is dodgy as hell on this mouse it might have a bit of crap stuck in it somewhere well, Microsoft Visual Bollocks J Downloader .NET Framework No IP DUC OpenOffice.org Optimizer Pro PC Connectivity Solution, PC, PC Power Speed, Quick Time, The Last Starfighter, Video Downloader, Windows Driver Package Nokia, Windows Login Recovery, Windows Mobile. And that's it. Winston Emulator, YouTube Downloader. Just a PC full of shit from the look of it. <laughs> Yeah, that still works after being stored for a couple of years at least. Hence why there's uh, spiders made the home in here, isn't we? Oh, that's a point. Let's just uh, go to computer and what we've got. An 80 gigabyte hard drive. That's what we've got. Well, to be precise, 74.4 gigabyte. And half of that is pretty much used. 47.3 gigabytes. What, just a power supply, probably something pissy. I'm not expecting that to be very big. It's an HP. I don't know what this system is, is it an HP? 
got an HP look to it, hasn't it? Sony um, drive up there. I can't see no. Hmm. It must be an HP then. Ah, it's got an HP sticker on the top there. There we go. 250 watt max. So, yeah, it's perfect for a little sort of office PC at least, isn't it? PCIe video slot or whatever it's bloody called. A couple of PCI slots. There's it. <laughs> uh, two SATA connectors. Uh, looks like it's only got the one IDE connector. So if I did put my XP in here. I would have to put an SATA ROM drive in here, which isn't a bad thing because uh, I'd change that anyway because the bloody drawer sticks. As you heard earlier, I have to give the top of it a slap to get it to open. Well, it's not a bad case, you know, put a new blank plate in there just to tidy it up. Card reader. Just a generic keyboard with lots of keyboard shortcuts. And got the whole kit and caboodle. I don't think he's in a hurry to get his pictures back anyway, so uh, I can't really do anything with the machine until I've got them off, but I'm not in any hurry either. I've got other crap to do first. Like, uh, sort shit out in here. So, I'm going to shut that down then. I know the disc is in there, but I don't know. Shut down. Yes, there is sound. I just heard it. Yeah, it's a fully operational PC, at least. Could use it as it is. It's just that bloody... This Windows is not genuine thing would piss me right off. But, uh, I'll redo it myself. I'm guessing as it's got seven Windows 7 32-bit, that's uh, a 32-bit motherboard. So I better not try my 64-bit Windows 7. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Oh, um, what is the time? Blood! Really? I didn't realise it was that late. That clock is saying... Um, Almost 20 to 12. Sheesh. I really didn't realise it was that late. Oh! Well, I think tomorrow's going to be a work day. I've got to get those bikes done. Can't sell them until they are done. Oh, my friend, as pictured earlier, um, saw the guy who owns the bicycle my friend picked up in town the other night, a couple of weeks ago. He doesn't want it anymore, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> so my friend has acquired another bike. It's the same guy who's um, wanting to buy a bike off of me again, so... I'll get them to sword and then I can contact him and uh, sell them because I owe my friend that um, £10 for the electric um, bike. I was reading Dropbox in this link on here. <laughs> that's why I was going to say electric box. I can't show you that because that's not safe for work. <laughs> Hell. Had dinner and didn't eat at all. I don't know. I just didn't really have an appetite this evening. 
I'm not feeling ill or anything. I just won't. Are you that hungry? Piss off, you stupid thing. Oh, before I disappear, someone posted about charity shops on my Facebook, um, and he is absolutely right. I know they do it to raise money for a good cause, allegedly. All right, they do. Um, but he went into one today and looked at a couple of bowls, which are the set. But the charity shop wanted to sell them separately. So instead of two ninety nine for the set, they wanted two ninety nine each. You know, to me, if it's a set, you sell it as a set. Um, but I don't know what charity stores in other countries are like, but here, especially in my area. They just seem to be a complete joke on their prices. Even though it's already alleged, again, no proof. Well, I've not seen any proof. But apparently charity shops spend less, or charities I should say, spend less than... What is it? Less than 50% on good causes. 50% of their, um, you know, their general income. Money raised, whatever you want to call it. And I'm talking about chain store charities, Bernardo's, Arthritis Research, um, The Break Charity, Sue Ryder, Oxfam, etc. Not your little local ones. Um, the Catali one, it's a local charity in town, and I have to say, that is a bloody good charity shop. Things are priced fairly, well, most things are priced fairly. There's some there, I think... They've priced a bit high, but having said that, the items do sell anyway, so that's just my personal opinion, you know. <laughs> just because I think it's priced high doesn't necessarily mean it is. Um, but what gets me, I've been into charity shops, and I've seen them second-hand, you know, used items, priced... Um, with an equivalent price of a brand new item, the exact same item, brand new, or more. And I just put it down because I think, well, I can walk around to Roy's or QD stores or whatever and get the exact same item, brand new, for, like I said, either the same price or cheaper. And I think that takes the piss even more. <laughs> Um, but it's putting me off going in charity shops the way they are pricing their stuff. Um, I mean, I found jeans in one in town because I was looking for new jeans. I could do some more, actually. Which I was actually looking for the other day when I was with Mum, but I didn't find any. Anyway, um, these jeans, they're asking four ninety nine for a pair of jeans and all around the bottom you know around the bottom of your jeans there were all worn and frayed and trodden on and just looked generally horrible I wouldn't have paid that for them you know if you're going to put a good price on something at least make sure the item is good um Mum has been looking through clothes, because that's where she gets most of her clothes from. You know, she's looked through them and found items in there that are either, you know, got a button broken off or a big horrible stain right in the middle of it. And that's another good one. Because it's just either been missed or they just hope no one would notice. 
and they actually wonder why people shoplift from charity shops. It's not right to shoplift at all. No, I don't, I'm not condoning it, but when they're pricing things stupidly, trying to technically rob us, then what do they expect? <laughs> Duh! If they put things up at a fair price, then people probably wouldn't be tempted to shoplift. But like I said, I'm not going to condone it, you shouldn't do it. Got Nemo on my lap, and I'm just watching the uh, battery gauge on here. Should hold up another few minutes or so, but I don't think I'm going to go that long. I'm getting tired, because it is tiring pulling one of those big old trailers of my friends. Um, I'm still having a few teething problems with my towing bike, in that the front brake failed. I don't think the um, cable clamp on it is clamped down tight enough, so it just pulled it through, that's all. Uh, the front gears won't go in third gear at the front anymore. <laughs> and I've just got to adjust the rear derailleur. But apart from that, it rides so much better now with that new wheel in. And uh, two new wheels in, actually. Um, my friend actually suggested putting disc brake in it, because I can do that with that one. And I do actually have a couple of wheels, so I might do that. Uh, yeah, why not? I've got the brake calipers as well. I might as well put a front disc brake on it. Uh, just keep the rear rear view. Got my tongue in a twist. The rear V brake works fine on it very grippy but it's grippy enough at least but yeah before that was so horrible to ride I wish I'd done it properly in the first place but I was literally strapped for time and I was trying to get it up and usable as fast as possible oh well yeah. somewhere I've got a pair of brand new gear cables I'll need tomorrow I don't know if I want to bring the bikes up here to do them, or if I want to do the bikes downstairs. And I think what I'll do, I'll do the full... Uh, the, uh, for fuck's sake, I must be getting tired. <laughs> I'll do the front suspension mountain bike first. Because to me that's the nicest out of the two. But when that's done, I'll message the guy on Gumtree, because I've saved the email so I can contact him, and uh, see if he's interested in that one. I'm not deliberately swearing, by the way. I didn't actually realise I was doing it until I looked at the screen on the camera, so I do apologise for that. That wasn't, that crossed my heart, that wasn't intentional. I actually thought I was doing it with that finger, not that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to go to bed before I do anything else dumb. <laughs> oh dear, I've got a bed to clear. I'm not doing a mattress or anything tonight. Oh, and I've decided that cabinet... I don't actually think it's a bedside cabinet. I think it's just a little TV cabinet. But I'm going to use that to replace the bedside cabinet in the bedroom. I have decided. I was going to put it in there, in the bedroom, you know as an, an extra bit of storage, but, oh, well, do you have to, Nemo? But uh, I've decided I'll swap. I've had that little one quite a while anyway, so time for a change. Well, it was either that or that cabinet would have gone down the dump. And uh, it's in better condition than my bedside cabinet, so time for a change. I've got that. I can't even give that mattress away. It's so lumpy now. I don't know what it is with me and mattresses, but they always go lumpy. Well, it's not like I jump up and down on it like a kid. 
Yay! Jump on the bed! Don't even know if I did that as a kid, to be honest. Oh yeah, I did. I did it in a cot. I went through the bottom of the cot. <laughs> oh, actually, was that me? No, I think that might have been my brother did that. I know I pulled a um, pooey nappy off, or a pooey diaper for Americans, and sat in the cot playing with it, much to Mum's delight. <laughs> don't ask me why I did it, I don't know, I can't even remember that myself. But apparently that's what I did one day. I remember letting the gerbils out of the gerbil cage, and the dog got them. I remember going fishing in Dad's fish tank and lined all the fish up on the floor. And they'd come downstairs that morning, Mum and Dad, and Mum was pissing herself laughing, and I did get a slapped ass for that one. Yeah, I got a slapped ass. Never did me any harm. But that's another discussion. I'm going to disappear, I think. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching if you made it this far through this boring video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I wonder if I can turn that face tracking off because that yellow square is getting on my tits now. <laughs> Every time I look I just see this square around my face. Don't need face tracking on so I might see if I can turn it off. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. Play on GTA probably for about an hour. I'm being messaged as well, so I'll go and answer that. Um, that's catch custom trikes. Two messages. Maybe she's forgot something or just wondering why I'm so quiet. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later.